guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to my kitchen or welcome here if you're new I am doing one of my monthly meal prep videos I do these about twice a month so about two days out of the month I set aside a day and I do meal prepping sometimes some of the things that I prep last me the whole month um, sometimes it lasts me or I you know just do some weekly stuff in the midst of it all so either way I hope that this inspires you and most of all of these things you could definitely make enough for a month or for a large family. I grabbed my Starbucks and I am ready to go. I definitely feel very energized. My little ones are down for their naps right now or just having quiet time. And I've got my list of stuff ready to go. I have the kitchen cleaned up and the dishwasher unloaded and I also just have it empty so I can just keep putting um, things in there as I'm cooking and trying to kind of clean as I go so that stuff doesn't get super crazy and out of hand. So let's jump in and get started. I've got a bunch of groceries sitting out here from my grocery run earlier just for the different things that we're doing today. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to be making some cheeseburger meatballs. I've seen different ways people have done this but I'm kind of taking my own twist on it today and just doing it how I think it will turn out best. I have an egg in here. This is two pounds of ground beef. This is a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper and then I'm going to just shake in some onion onion powder and garlic powder uh, probably will end up being about a teaspoon or a little more of each and then I have some coconut flour you can always use breadcrumbs and in a lot of my stuff I use gluten-free options just because it's a little bit healthier and I will just sprinkle some of this over now one thing about coconut flour is it's very 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 absorbent so you do not need much of it and if you put too much in it's gonna make the meatballs really really dry but because it's so absorbent Absorbent. I really like using it as a binder in meatballs, burgers, that kind of thing. Um, it's a good substitute for breadcrumbs. So I'm just going to smush all of this up and then I'm going to dice up this cheddar cheese I have over here and put a square of cheddar cheese inside of each meatball. all ready to go in I have it at 400 Fahrenheit and I probably will put them in for about 25 minutes and then check them and these are pretty big which will work out great because I think my daughters will probably eat like two of them around you know for lunchtime that I can reheat them since a lot of my meal prepping is surrounded around snacks and healthy lunch ideas you know things to fill in the cracks between dinners so I'm gonna put these in and we'll see what they're like I can't wait to see the cheese melt in the middle I feel like they're gonna be so delicious okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is something that I have considered doing for a long time basically what I'm gonna do is put some ingredients together in Ziploc bags and all I have to do is pull them out of the freezer throw them in the blender with a little bit of water or almond milk and it's that easy of course you can do so many different combinations but the ones I'm gonna do today are gonna be a combination of bananas pineapple and then a handful of spinach that's gonna turn out to be a really green looking smoothie which I have done green smoothies since my girls were really little and so they see green smoothies as something that's really yummy if, if your kids are not used to eating things that are green it might be a good way to introduce them to something that's green because this is really really delicious together
you're somebody that adds things like cocoa powder or protein powder to your smoothies, you could totally do that too. In fact, sometimes I put powders like that in the freezer to make them last longer. So don't be afraid to add those things in as well. I've got some water going to get it to a boil and then I'm gonna drop these in. So I'm getting ready to make some broccoli tots and my girls love broccoli and this is something that I think will be a really good alternative to tater tots and it basically has like cheese, egg, a little bit of, you can use oat flour or almond flour. Almond flour you obviously buy in the store or for the most part I guess you could make your own but oat flour you just blend up some oatmeal in the blender which I might do a combination of both. I need to see how much almond flour I actually have. So I'm going to drop these in, steam them. I will leave the link below for this recipe. I'll link the stuff that I'm using recipes. Otherwise, I'm trying to tell you guys what my measurements are and things like that for the stuff I'm not using a recipe for. Everything is moving along really smoothly and I'm getting a lot done. My girls are still sleeping, so that's a good thing. Um, you guys have seen me use these things a lot of times. They are a great Amazon find that I found a while back. I actually haven't even needed to reorder because there's so many. I forget exactly how many come in a pack. 150. And they're Ice Pop Ziplocs. And so I'm always trying to think of fun, creative things to fill them with because my girls love them. We blow through them like crazy. I've done a lot of yogurt. You know that I make homemade yogurt. Um, something else I'd really like to try is I've been making milk kefir, which I think would be absolutely great since it's super full of probiotics and it's similar to yogurt. I've done a lot of smoothies and things like that, but this week I was like, what's something I haven't done in my ice pops? And one thing I haven't done is watermelon. So I have this huge watermelon sitting over here. I'm gonna pull out my blender. I'm gonna blend up some watermelon. I'm gonna taste it to just see how sweet it is because you know watermelon can really range in sweetness and then see if I need to add anything more to it and try putting it in the ice pot, freezing them. And I know that my girls are gonna just love this idea. So this watermelon ended up being super, super sweet and I didn't have to add anything else to it. Also, my blender is from Alec Holmes. I'm not sure, it was out of stock the last time I checked, but basically it's similar to a Vitamix. It's super high powered. And so I did not have to be worried about the seeds being in there. They just got blended right up with everything and were not noticeable in the little freeze pops. But if your blender is not that strong, just get a seedless watermelon. These broccoli tots worked out perfectly. In fact, I wanna try this same recipe with other veggies, just because they're great finger food, especially for the age of my girls, and they can dip them into ketchup or anything else, and they're getting a ton of vegetables.
The watermelon ice pops are still rolling over here, but since my broccoli tots are out of the oven, I'm going to whip up my next thing that needs to go in the oven, and that is some mini corn dog muffins. And I'm really excited about this because I think it'll be a great change from like meatballs or chicken nuggets, that kind of thing for my girls for lunch. So right now I'm soaking some cornmeal in almond milk. I'm going to leave the recipe I'm loosely following below, and you guys can do whatever you want to do with it. In it, she has a gluten free baking mix suggested to use um, in place of flour, but I'm actually going to use this paleo pancake mix instead and see how they turn out. And I'm going to not put sugar in it. I'll probably put some stevia or something else like that in it um, and see what they're like. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high you guys have seen me make my blender waffles a couple times, I believe, and I just did a double batch this day. We have found that the favorite combination is the one where I put the chocolate chips in. I've done blueberry and other flavors, but that's definitely the one that the girls like the best. Trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. So I've got the waffles rolling here and this little thing is the best 10 bucks or around $10 I've ever spent off of Amazon. <laughs> um, it has been awesome for doing freezer waffles. So I just grab out a big spoonful of the batter like this and stick it in here and then I kind of smooth it out and I'll add a little more if I feel like I need to um, as I go. And then, once I've got it all in my iron here, I add a few of these chocolate chips. They're Stevia's chocolate chips from Walmart, and it's from a brand called Bake Believe. They also have white chocolate chips and dark chocolate chips. These are just like the semi-sweet. And I sprinkle them across here, then I close it and let it go. Um, I'm out of spray right now. Normally I spray the waffle iron as I go. So every once in a while I just put a little bit of butter across the top of it and that helps them not stick. But honestly this thing does really well without needing much of any kind of oil or spray or anything. I bet you think that I should calm down Thinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't It's not that long Since I met you for the first time I ended up whipping up a second batch of this because these are so delicious and I just thought I would need some more so I'm going to sl slide them back in the freezer so that they can flash freeze and get a little bit frozen before I put them in the bag just so that they don't freeze together. These are already pretty frozen um, and I'm so happy with these so I highly recommend doing that and you can easily swap out the baking gluten free baking mix that she suggests in the recipe for a pan cake mix if you want to it worked perfectly and then um, I just put a little bit of some pure sweetener in instead of the sugar and I think these are going to be a great lunch option also I did use cheese hot dogs that's why you see the little white spots here and there and while I freeze these I have something else I want to show you guys I just got my keto crate for June yesterday and basically this is a box where you can get it once a month you can get it every three months and it sends you a bunch of 
of just like really cool um, keto, sugar-free, low-carb kind of snacks and different things. So what I want to do tonight is I really want to make this sugar-free um, cookie mix. And it looks really simple. It says it only needs a stick of butter and one egg to mix up. And you can bake them up really quickly. I love mixes like this. And I really like this sweetener brand. I've never tried this mix though. So I'm excited to try it out. I am affiliated with Keto Crate. They are not sponsoring this video but if you click the link um, that I'll leave below in the description box you can get $10 off your first month and if you try out the first month and don't really like it you can cancel it anytime I have taken the time to add up different times like what all comes in the box and how much it would cost if I purchased those things individually and you're definitely getting a good deal for things that are healthy and being a busy mom I love having this kind of stuff around where I can just grab and go I haven't tried this I'm really excited Excited to try like it's a little shake this is like an instant pudding they've got like little snack mixes bars things like that it's also a good way to try things out before you would buy like a whole box of something um, but pretty much everything in here is full-sized and whatnot I'm not gonna ramble on too much more about this but I wanted to let you know that I do have a code for it and that's where this came from It's been a crazy busy day. We got so much tackled. I'm so happy with all the stuff that's in my freezer right now. And I'm glad that I was able to try like some new things and they turned out really well. If you guys ever try any meal prep that's inspired by my videos, please let me know in the comments. Let me know what you've made or what you've enjoyed. Also, if there's something that you would like to see me do in this type of a video, doing some kind of meal prepping or freezer prepping, let me know that as well in the comments. Thanks so much for watching today. If you're new here, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button. I do lots of homemaking style content like this. I hope that this video inspired you. Don't forget to give this video a like for me and I'll see you guys in my next video.